Hi, Kim and I. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I'm doing your weekly reading for November 15th through the 21st. I hope everybody is doing well. Remember, this is a general reading and is not designed to resonate with everyone. If you find it's not resonating, please check your moon, rising, or Venus signs and see if those readings do resonate with you. Or you can just simply come back in a, the following week and check the reading then. Um, if you would like a personal reading, there are directions in the box below, and I'll be happy to help you with that. Um, also, if you subscribe to the channel, that does throw your energy in with everybody's, and it makes it a little easier to pick up on your energies. So, what we're going to do, um, Gemini, is we're going to pull your energy, the energy of the person you're connected with, whether you're in contact or not, and also the energy of the uh, relationship itself okay so let's go ahead and get started spirit can I have the energy of Gemini for November 15th through the 21st please all right so Gemini we have the ten of Pentacles we have the death card in reverse we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and we have the High Priestess. Okay, very nice. All right, so there is a um, connection here. It may have been a long-term connection with the Ten of Pentacles, but this is a connection that you feel as if you're just not able to let go of. I do see that there may have been a breakup in the past. And if that's the case, um, I see the two of you guys reconnecting because the Five of Pentacles in reverse is basically a come back around card. Um, so you're going to be reconnecting, if you haven't already, with somebody that you may have um, broken up with in the past. And I do also feel um, that you are definitely being very intuitive about things this go around. Um, there's something here, and this may have even been a marriage um, where the two of you have separated and are now coming back together. If not, it's most likely a long-term relationship, but I feel like you're really using your intuition. You're, you're definitely being guided here. Let's look at the person that you are involved with. Show me the energy of the person that Gemini is connected to, please. Yeah, I see some kind of a reunion. Either has already happened or is going to happen. Okay, so they have the Ace of Wands, the star in reverse, oh, and the Ace of Cups. Well, Gemini, this person definitely loves you, um, and I feel like they um, are very passionate about you as well. They definitely enjoy the physical aspects of your relationship, but it's not just passion that's here. There's love here as well, and I feel as if this person... Um, you know, they may have reached a point where they were just about ready to give up on, on this reconciliation. Um, so if you have not reconciled with this person yet, um, this person is, you know, they love you dearly. They're very passionate about you, but they may be kind of giving up hope. So if you have reconciled, this is just showing that in, in the past that they, they reached a point where they were about ready to give up. It has nothing to do with how they feel about you, though. They definitely, you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups in their energy. So that's uh, that's pretty powerful there. So let's look at the energy of the connection. All right, so you have the Seven of Cups in reverse. So if there was confusion in this connection, that has ended. Um, if there were options in this connection, that has also ended. What is the challenge to this Okay, so the challenge is to move away from things that were difficult, away from the difficulties, and to move into a little bit smoother, um, you know, relationships, a little bit. There may have been a lot of arguing. There was a lot of um, conflict, and so the challenge is to move out of the conflict, out of whatever drove the two of you apart, and to have now things become a little bit smoother, a little easier. Um, what is the outcome by the end of the week for Gemini, please? Okay, so you have the lovers in reverse and you have the nine of pentacles. 
So I don't see that this relationship is going to actually come together by the end of the week, but keep in mind that that's just the energy for the week. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of being independent. Um, that is leaned more on your side, Gemini. So I feel like, you know, you may be holding back a little bit from this relationship. Um, the person that you are connected with, um, they may not be seeing eye to eye with you on some of these issues that um, need to be resolved. So your challenge is resolving whatever these issues were that, that drove your part to begin with. I don't see that being resolved within the next week, but I can tell you, Gemini, that um, you're desiring to have a reunion. Your person has deep feelings for you, both um, passionate and emotional. Um, so, and I feel like neither of you are confused about wanting each other. It's just that, you know, possibly by the end of the week, I'm not seeing that you guys have resolved whatever the issues are. So I don't see you coming back together um, like in a full-blown connection by the end of the week. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Swords. So whatever did occur here was pretty serious. Um, there was a lot of feelings of betrayal here. There were feelings of being stabbed in the back. Um, so I, I feel as if, you know, you guys have a lot to to basically go over and try to resolve. And that is the, the challenge to the relationship is resolving these issues. So it looks very clear cut, but we're going to clarify everything anyway. Um, why is the Ten of Pentacles here for Gemini? You have the Knight of Pentacles, and you have the Three of Coins in the reverse. Okay, so I feel as if um, with the Three of Coins in the reverse, it, it could have been a third party, but I don't feel that for most people. Um, for some of you, yes. But for most of you, I just feel like there was not a cooperation within the, the relationship. There was, um, you weren't on the same page. And for some of you, you weren't even on the same book. Now, there was progress being made in this relationship, but I feel like it was extremely slow. And I just feel as if maybe for a lot of you that you just weren't on the same page. For a few of you, there was a third party, and I feel as if, um, you know, that really slowed down the momentum of this relationship as well. Um, why is the death, sword, or the death card in reverse? All right, so you have the Six of Pentacles and you have the King of Cups in the reverse. So while you were, were not able to just let go of this relationship, Gemini, I do feel as if there was, um, for some of you, you felt like you were being breadcrumbed and that kind of closed your heart down. Um, for others, there definitely was a third party here and someone was giving to two people. In either case, um, what I see is that, Gemini, you kind of closed down a little bit. You kind of um, you you kind of just um, closed your heart off in this relationship, but I can tell you that you, you weren't done with it. There was still that cord between the two of you, because you know how you behaved in feeling betrayed and feeling um, hurt is very different from the fact of want not really wanting it. So even if you you know on a physical three D level. You split apart energetically. I feel as if you were still very connected with this person. So, Spirit, can I have three cards for the bottom energy, please? All right. So yes, I do feel as if you were still energetically connected. I do think that you are listening to your intuition with regards to this relationship. I do see that there is going to be a comeback around if there hasn't been already. Um, and the thing you have to remember, Gemini, is with this Ten of Swords, that is as bad as it's going to get. You have the Ten and from the Ten, then you go back into the One again which would be clarity and, and communication. So, you know, the underlying energy here is that of betrayal, basically. But I see that, you know, it is reaching an end, and that is very good news. Now, um, I do see that you're, you're definitely being guided here. 
with the king of pentacles here um so you could be dealing either with a water sign or an earth sign you don't have to be but you could be um and i see that right now you're investing more in yourself i see you're investing more into your work your your family if you have children um you're really focused on self and self-care right now um, because I feel like you you think that love is just a bit of a burden right now. It's not that you don't have emotions for this person, you do, but I feel like it's burdensome to you because of whatever has occurred that, that the two of you broke apart. And so I feel like right now you're focusing primarily on yourself, your home, your, your work, a lot on work and finances. Um, just because it's just too it, thinking about the the whole relationship and love and you know all of it's just too much it's just too much right now all right so let's see why we have the ace of wands in your person's energy why is the ace of wands here for the person gemini is dealing with all right so we have the king of wands in reverse that's fire sign energy and we have the Five of Swords in the reverse. So this person is not really taking a lot of action towards you with regard to, you know, a passionate, you know, beginning. Um, but they don't want conflict with you anymore. And they're very clear about that. So they're not going to be initiating conflict. Um, they definitely are very passionate towards you. But they may not be moving towards you in that manner. Um, but they do have those passionate feelings for you. And they are missing the physical um, aspects of the relationship. Why is the star here? We have the two of swords in reverse. And we have the nine of wands. Yeah. So this person, um, if you haven't reconnected yet, they know that they know there's a decision um, and they've made a decision actually, but I feel like they just feel like they've been through it here. And I feel like they're about to the point where they're giving up hope. Um, it's like they just, they're holding on by a thread. And, but they have made the decision that they, they do have feelings and passion for you, emotions towards you. Um, and you're the one that they want. Nobody is confused about that. I also feel like you're not confused about that. Um, why is the Ace of Cups here? So we have the Knight of Swords in reverse, and we have here we have the um, Seven of Cups in the upright. So this person may have been confused in the past. Maybe they didn't know if they had those emotions for you or if you had them for, for them. Um, and I feel like this is something that they didn't discuss with you. This is something they kept to themselves. Um, but... You know, and they may have been a little bit dishonest. Uh, they may have been dishonest with themselves or with you um, because they were feeling very confused in their emotions and I don't feel like they communicated that. So why do we have this, the Seven of Cups in reverse for the connection? Okay, so we have the hangman in reverse. We have the wheel of fortune and we have the strength card. So yeah, definitely both parties have a, a new perception of this connection. Um, you both have you know gained a lot of clarity. Um, you're you're looking at it, both of you are looking at this relationship from a very different perspective now. I do feel like the person that you're involved with, Gemini. Um, it took a lot for them to get to this position. It, um, this wasn't an easy thing for them. And I feel like they, they've struggled with this. And I don't feel like you know most of what they've struggled with. I feel like they kept a lot of this to themselves. Now, as far as your concern on your side of the equation, I think you're seeing this from a different perspective as well. And, you know, this could be a twin flame connection. Um, because we do have the infinity symbol along with the Wheel of Fortune here. If that's the case, um, I do feel as if this is being divinely guided. And I do feel like you, you are of the 
um, impression, Gemini, that things are turning in your favor. And I do feel like both of you are looking at this relationship with a lot more clarity and your perspective has changed. Why is the Six of Swords here? Okay, so we have the King of Swords and we have the Hermit. So you both need to be able to move this into a, a little bit um, more solid standing, resolving these conflicts. That's the challenge to this connection. And I feel like for the person you're dealing with, Gemini, that's going to require them to really go within and to gain some insight into their behavior, why they have behaved in the way they have in the past, and what they can do to resolve that. And for you, I feel like this is an indication for you to set some very firm boundaries. Um, I feel as if um, you may be a little bit defensive in this as well. So be careful with that because you can have very firm boundaries, Gemini, without being defensive. Um, but always cautioned to be fair and to, to basically cut out anything that is not serving you. And I feel like you are doing that. Um, very typical of an air sign, Gemini. I do feel like you are um, standing in your power because this is your card. Um, you're standing in your power in this situation. And I feel like you are basically making head over heart decisions. So, you know, I this is a very good sign as far as um, you having very firm boundaries and standing in your power. Um, I don't see that... I don't see you coming from a disempowered standpoint, but I do see some avoidance of love because it just is, a, it's, it's burdensome to you. And I also see, Gemini, that you've kind of closed your heart in the past, so that may be something you want to look at as well. Um, Spirit, can I get three cards for the outcome, please? So you have the Fool card, you have the Two of Cups in the reverse, and you have the Page of Swords. So, um, like I said, at the end of the week, and this is short term, um, keep in mind, and this looks like it's an ongoing situation. So, you know, it took a long time to get to this, this particular situation, so it's going to take a long time to get it resolved as well. And and that is your challenge, right? These things don't just get resolved overnight. So I do see that in the short term, we have the Two of Cups um, in reverse. We have the Lovers in reverse. So this is a very strong soulmate connection. Um, could possibly be a twin flame connection. But I don't see that the two of you are going to come back together by the end of the week. Um, and I feel like for you, Gemini, um, you're taking a leap of faith in, in some direction here. Um, and I feel like, I feel like it has nothing to do with this connection. I feel like it has to do with something else that you're in, you know, independent in. It may be some kind of a business endeavor, um, or it doesn't even feel like it is related to this connection or any other connection. It feels as if you are jumping out there. This, this has caused you to become more independent. Um, and so there's something that you're taking a leap of faith in. And I feel like that your person is intently watching this. Um, they, they're curious about what you're doing. They are spying on you. Um, and I feel like they're watching you grow, basically. Um, so this connection is not terminated. It's not over. I see that both of you do want to come back together. But right now, I feel like, Gemini, you are focusing more on yourself. And I feel like you're, you're, there's something that you are moving into. I don't know if it's a side endeavor, if it's a new job, but there's something that's extremely independent, has nothing to do with this connection that you're, you're moving into. Um, and I don't see the two of you like bringing this fully back together, but there is going to be communication. Um, and I do feel like both of you are working to resolve the issues that are here. So let's get um, three Oracle cards to end your reading. One more spirit. One more for Gemini. There it is. All right. So 
So you have proposal, you have money, and you have marriage. So I, I feel like <laughs> this is eventually going to move together. I do feel like you're managing your money right now. Your focus is primarily upon the money. Um, we and, and that's good because Spirit is directing you to do so. Um, but I feel like this is going to come back together um, into a higher level of commitment because we go from a proposal to a marriage. Um, I feel like this is this you're leveling up in this relationship, but it's not going to be immediately. Right now, you're going to be focused more on your money. So, yeah, and that's just confirmation of it. All right, Gemini, I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like and share the video. Comment below because I do read all your comments. And until I see you next time, namaste.